YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical, where we make holsters and gear, and also some content for this channel. Today, I'm here with my family. They're all in town visiting, and we figured why not come and see our friends over at Speed Vegas, so let's go race some cars. So yes, we are here at Speed Vegas. We have family visiting all the way from Oklahoma and from Denver, Colorado, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, we are out here at Speed Vegas. It is at the end, the far south end of South Las Vegas Boulevard, uh, past the M Resort, if you're familiar with the area. Uh, we're out here having a family day. I'll explain why again later, but a big shout out to David. Uh, David of Ultimate Ammunition is also one of the owners here at Speed Vegas, and he invited us out. So big shout out to David. Thank you, man. Um, but yeah, we came out here with the family. I got to check out the uh, the yellow Porsche, I don't know the exact model. I'm not a big car guy, but that thing was super fast. Uh, as you can hear back there, they're doing the drifting. That thing was insane. We'll definitely show you that here soon. But just kind of want to give you guys a video of what you can expect when you come out here. Uh, obviously, you saw the facility in that B-roll. Very nice facility. You'll have a, a briefing room area where you'll go over your safety briefings and stuff like that. And then after that, you uh, get squared away with helmets and gear, and then you get into your groups, and you just have fun, man. I did five laps on the track in that Porsche. Again, I'm not a big car guy, but my friends are like, hey, you gotta do, you gotta do that Porsche. Uh, but in addition to that, guys, the, all the B-roll that you're gonna see here from inside the vehicle, that's actually on these uh, wristbands here. They have the USB flash drives that plug in and record everything that you'd want in 1080p. So uh, other than that, guys, we're gonna finish up here at the facility and head back to the house, and uh, I'll go over why we are all hanging out here in Vegas. It is now the following Tuesday. All of my family has headed back home to Oklahoma and to Colorado. So just kind of want to recap and uh, I was kind of going back and forth with sharing this but I know a lot of you have reached out and if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time uh, then you all were very familiar with my grandpa Ray Thomas. Uh, my grandpa has passed away and that's why all my family was in town visiting. Um, kind of a little backstory for you guys that don't understand or know. Uh, my grandfather, Raymond Thomas, he, uh, during the Vietnam War, met my grandmother in Thailand. Uh, I'm half Thai, for all of you always wondering if I'm Filipino, I'm not. I'm actually half Thai and half Mexican. He met my grandma there in Thailand. Uh, he was there for about eight years. They got to know each other. Obviously, they got married. They moved back to Vegas, uh, where they brought my mother with them. And then I was born here in the States, in Oklahoma City, actually. Um, and then during that time, I got to meet uh, my uncles and aunts that my grandfather had children previous to marrying my grandmother, and that's who was all out here visiting. So my uncle Travis, my aunt Tammy, um, I've known them, you know, since I was a little kid. But my grandpa, uh, he had been having health issues. Um, long story short, he had a, a pretty bad fall while he was out in Oklahoma, ended up getting a TBI, and then needed 24-hour care. So you guys might remember a couple videos back, I was out in Dallas. I actually flew out to Dallas and then drove to Oklahoma to pick him up, and I brought him back here where he's gonna have 24-hour care. Um, he was only here for about a week, and uh, unfortunately, uh, it was just his time. So he uh, went to do our normal routine the other day, and uh, he had already passed. Uh, looks like peacefully in his sleep. Um, I will say a couple really cool things, though. Um, I mean, I got a bunch of cool things to say about my grandpa, but he got to come back here, be with uh, this side of the family, and we had a blast. His last week here, we went to Hibachi like two days before he was passed. Uh, two days before he passed away, he was actually catching uh, shrimp in his mouth. I'll show you guys right here. Ah! 
Hey, hey, nice. All right. Is this uh, what do you find a bit? How's your salad, Grandpa? Good. And uh, he's eating with chopsticks as well, so just crazy that it was like two days prior. Um, I will say with like something that's really crazy, guys. Uh, he passed away on August 30th which I have it tattooed here on my arm. That's actually my grandma's 80th birthday. So, you know, my family members and I were all talking, like, he just, he was ready to go. He wanted to go up there for her birthday and be with her. Um, so he went up there. Other sad news, uh, Whammo did pass away earlier this month as well. So uh, I know my grandfather is up in heaven with my grandma, with Whammo hanging out, and they are all just looking down on all of us. So um, that is why all of his family members were out here visiting. Um, and dude, again, huge shout out to David for letting me and the family all go out to Speed Vegas and just kind of enjoy ourselves, get our minds off of thinking about, you know, all the sadness that comes with the death in the family in a funeral. But, um, you know, and again, guys, I went back and forth with sharing this, um, but my grandpa was on the vlogs and I know a lot of you have always had kind and nice things to say whenever he would pop his head in on the vlog. So I definitely want to give you guys a heads up and let you know what's been going on. So, but anyway, we're all doing good here, guys. Um, last week was more of a celebration of life than anything sorry there's like helicopters and planes flying around but um it was honestly more of a celebration than it was like you know uh grieving the sadness and the, and the death of a family having having my whole family there's 11 family members that came out and just having them all in my house for the week was a blast um i got to hang out with my cousins who you know i haven't seen them honestly we haven't seen each other since my grandma passed away eight years ago and before that it was probably another eight years i hadn't seen them since we were kids but it was good hanging out with them, and we've all made plans to hang out and continue to do more things. Might actually make it like a family reunion thing on my on my uh, my grandpa's uh, the day he died, and then my grandma's uh, birthday every year. Maybe the, every, the whole family will come back out and we'll do Speed Vegas again. But um, I don't want to keep rambling on too long. But I did want to let you guys know what was going on. Um, so I appreciate everybody that if you're watching these vlogs and you already knew about my grandfather's death, I, so many people reached out and just nothing but condolences and kind words. And, and again, guys, um, it was like his ceremony. I actually have some stuff that I'll show from the funeral because my grandpa loved fireball. And you'll understand what I, what I mean here in a second. But so many friends, so many family came out and supported and just, you know, celebrated the, the life of my, uh, my grandfather, Raymond Thomas. So. Um, that's all I got for you guys, though. I appreciate everybody checking out the video, as always, and I appreciate all the support. Um, you guys know I don't really come on here and share too many personal things, but like I said, with him being in the vlogs whenever he was staying with me, I definitely want to let you guys know what was up. That way you weren't wondering where he was at, and uh, also with Whammo. So, um, but, hey, uh, life goes on, guys, and we're still kicking butt here and having a great time, and uh, that's all I got for you guys. So. Uh, I will see you in the next video. I definitely have some clips after this to show you from the uh, from the funeral, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. First of all, thank you to everybody. Um, as you guys all knew, uh, my grandfather, Raymond Thomas, his favorite drink was Fireball, so I figured in honor. He's got one down in there. So we'll cheers from here. <laughs> cheers, Grandpa. We love cheers, you. Cheers. Cheers. Thirteen years old, partying no. in Vegas, my cousin Liberty. <laughs> What'd you think of Speed Vegas? I loved it. First time in the back of a police car? You mm -hmm. better say yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, David, man, from all my family, we just want to say thank, thank you, David! David!